Welcome to JK Tech India official YouTube channel. Now I am going to explain about F18 standalone device. This device majorly used for the access purpose as well as the attendance purpose. So this device will comes with the 5000 user capacity. Now we will check the user capacity inside the device. Go for the system info option. Device capacity, 5000 user capacity and uh, also we can set the password for the verification for all the employees and uh, it will accept the 3000 fingerprint and if you are going to enroll the card means it will accept up to 5000 cards and uh, this device is able to record up to 1 lakh transaction capacity which means the punch uh, punch transactions it will store up to 1 lakh so this is the device capacity uh, this device will support for the communication like uh, TCP IP back side you can see this is the TCP IP port and uh, you can take the data in the USB also uh, in these two method you can take the data here the USB port and uh, uh, it, this with device will comes with the Wi-Fi as an option for the communication this device we can connect with the ZKDQ EM lock exit button and we can reader RS-485 reader sensors and alarms for the access purpose you can see the device the this device will comes with the 2.4 inch of tft screen uh, display color screen and uh, this is the keypad mr ok button for the main menu and other uh, keys also there you can see this is the blinking light uh, like uh, where you can use uh, this uh, as a calling bell the button for the calling bell uh, by connecting the external alarm and this the light will turn for the green light when the verification is successful and uh, when the verification is failure then this uh, light will turn for the red light and this is the fingerprint sensor to read the fingerprint and it is also having the card sensor here to read the card if you want to take the data in the USB format you just connect the pendrive USB here and you can take the data and this port is to do the device reset And the back side you can see the many ports. This first port is to connect the TCP IP connector and this port is to for the vegan connection. If you are going for uh, any uh, EM lock sensors and all, you should go for this port. And this port for the input to load power input and uh, this last port is for the RS485 communication. This device will support for the temper alarm. So this is the button for the temper alarm. These are the features and uh, inside the main menu a uh, lot of options are there. I will show the options. User management, inside user management, you can create a new user, you can delete and you can edit a user details. And user role, you can create a multiple user role based on the requirement I can assign to the employees for the operational purpose. In the communication, Ethernet related settings, cloud server setting, vegan setup also you can do. In the system you can change the date and time fingerprint settings and you can also do the device reset in the personalized user interface related things voice prompts and bell schedules you can do data management you can delete the data you can take that backup for data from the device and you can also restore the data to the device in access control you can create a time rule setting and like uh, access time schedule and uh, Combined verification and anti passback setup and group verification also you can do. USB manager here you can download the data and you can uh, upload also and you can update the firmware. Attendance search by entering the user ID of a particular employee, you can search the attendance of a particular employee. In auto test, you can test the device like uh, LCD, you can test here, voice prompts also you can check and a keypad whether it is working properly or not you can check it here and the last option is system info here you can check the device capacity like what is the user capacity and all and the device info here you will be getting the device name and uh, device serial number mac address everything you will be get it here and the firmware info you will be getting in the firmware details so these are all the menu options and uh, this device we can connect with the ZK Tico softwares like Easy Time Pro, Easy Development, Intelligent Time and uh, ZK Time.net softwares.
This is all about the F18 standalone device. Thank you.